what a next-generation electric Mitsubishi Eclipse could look like. Remember the Mitsubishi Eclipse, a sport compact car produced from 1989 until 2011? If so, then you're most likely expecting a successor in one form or another. Automotive designers Advit Tower and Karen Adivi shows us what a modern all-electric version could look like. This modular concept consists of both a passenger capsule as well as a driver module, with the latter being able to be folded up and charged at home. Read more for a video, additional pictures and information. While the driver module is being charged, the passenger capsule can be connected to an elevator in an apartment building and be used to transport its owner directly up to their unit. Aesthetically, the chassis features glass roof panels, LED taillights, front LED light bars, and five-spoke wheels. There's no word yet on what kind of electric motors it would use, but considering the automaker did release a Mitsubishi Eclipse EV back in 2001 with a range of 249 miles, this model will surely surpass that number. Since 1989, Mitsubishi's Eclipse has been the favorite of young car buyers and tuners alike. The Fast and the Furious trilogy didn't hurt either. Mitsubishi has given up a glimpse of the next-generation Eclipse, which will be officially introduced at the North American International Auto Show in January. I wonder if the new style will be as popular? The new design will feature a 2.2-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel, hearkening back to the roots of the Eclipse. This power plant will also make it one of the few diesel-powered sports cars available to the American side of the ocean. According to Mitsubishi, the 2.2 will make just over 200 horsepower. Power will be delivered to all four corners through a twin-clutch paddle shift manual transmission. Most likely a close relative of the one found in the Nissan GTR. The new design also incorporates quite a few goodies from Big Brother Lancer Evo X. Some of which are four-wheel vented disc brakes, anti-lock of course, and an active stability control system. The computer will also be designed to process data input from the steering and suspension systems to more precisely control torque and horsepower delivery. In addition, it will assist in keeping the car stable on the road and during cornering, 